Hey guys, we got a little combo tutorial here for you. You're going to start the move off with uh, the knife and the closed backhand grip here between your index finger and your thumb. Bite handle on the left, that's very important. You initiate the combo with a thumb rollover, tossing the bite handle out in a counterclockwise rotation around your thumb. As that rotates around, you're going to grip the bite handle between your thumb and your middle finger. These other fingers can rest down here. You want to leave your index finger out up here. As that finishes rotation, what you want to do is dip downwards with your wrist. <coughs> so you want to do that. What that does is absorb the momentum because if you were to just stop abruptly right here, the momentum would keep going and the blade would swing up and cut your fingers. So as that rotates, you dip downwards. Next you're going to go into an index roll, swinging your hand back up. And there should be no pause between that. Once you go down, you should go straight up, just like that. So as you swing up, that causes the safe handle to swing in a clockwise rotation around your index finger. Next, you're going to take your thumb and place that on what is the inside edge of the safe handle. As that finishes rotation, you'll be holding the safe handle between uh, your index and your thumb on the edges of the handle. You allow momentum to roll around your thumb. This will be the spine of the blade here. This will be counterclockwise. As that rotates around you're going to grab the safe handle between your index finger and your thumb and you're gonna roll it from this way to this way at the same time rolling it around your thumb once again counterclockwise this time your thumb will be in between both of the handles and you're going to allow that to over rotate as you take your index finger and place it on the inside edge of the safe handle and the spine of the blade at the same time turning your uh, palm up to palm down. So from here to there and going straight into a zero gravity chaplain. So as soon as you turn over you want to pull towards you and start that circular motion to do a zero gravity chaplain. I like to do two zero gravity chaplains. Uh, as that comes around and you're finishing the zero gravity you're going to take your thumb and touch it to your index finger and from here to there you're going to transfer from the tip of your index finger to the tip of your thumb. Momentum will keep this going around counterclockwise around your thumb between the spine of the blade and the inside edge of the safe handle. You're going to take your index finger place it on the outside edge of the safe handle once again rolling it from here to there another roll around your thumb counterclockwise between the uh, in between the handles here this time you are going to grab the bite handle with all your fingers here and you're gonna initiate that wrist pass type of motion going from palm up in a circular motion to palm down at the same time removing your index finger and placing it on the outside edge of the bite handle. This would be just like the second roll of the helix here around your index finger and this would be just like the third roll of the helix. Taking your thumb, touching it to your index finger, transferring to your thumb, allowing that to roll 
and as the safe handle rolls around you're going to go straight down. This will be the spine of the blade so you don't have to worry about that. And you're going to go straight down ending in this grip here between your thumb and your middle finger. Index finger resting on the bottom like that but you want to be grabbing the sides of the handle between your thumb and your middle finger. Um, a little bit lower down about a third of the way up from the bottom so you want to be in this position here okay now that you're in this position here you're going to go into a ladder uh, ladder like type of movement here so you're going to swing the knife up and towards you allowing it to pivot between your middle finger and your thumb so that it swings upwards pivoting between your middle finger and thumb just like that and that's why you want to be lower on the handle here so that you have clearance um, on the underneath of your hand there if you're gripping higher you wouldn't have the clearance and it would hit so you want to be on the lower uh, third, of, third of the way up from the bottom of the handle so you have enough clearance and once again swing it upwards towards you as that comes around you're going to take your ring finger and place that on the inside edge of the safe handle here removing your thumb so that you'll be holding the safe handle between your middle finger and your ring finger now in one continuous motion you're going to keep swinging it upwards rolling around your middle finger now removing your ring finger allowing that to rotate around your middle finger you're going to take your index finger and place that on the inside edge of the safe handle now so that now you'll be holding the safe handle between your middle finger and your index finger so what that would look like would be broken down into steps from there to there. Now as you're in this position you're going to allow it to you have two options here you can either allow it to roll around your finger around your middle finger so momentum will carry that and you're going to remove your index finger and allow that to roll around your middle finger and then you're going to grab it like that. A good way to practice would be to just do that over and over. Or you can, from here, kind of give it a gentle toss. So as that is going in momentum, you're going to basically give it a gentle toss and kind of reposition your fingers from here to here. So as you let go you'll be in this position you're going to move your index finger up and allow that to catch right there. And what the toss would look like would be like that. And you want to keep it a small toss. As soon as you catch you want to keep momentum going and go from kind of turn your hand over so that it completes um, you know rotates more up into like that position and then you're going to swing downwards away from you allowing that to roll over your index finger and you'll catch it in this position with your middle finger on top and your index finger on bottom then you're going to go into a full twirl so pushing up with your middle putting your ring in there removing your index bringing it up then going back downwards reversing the finger positions and then swinging upwards. 
And that's the move. I hope you guys like it.